Two outstanding performances so far from Raymond van Barneveld and Gary Anderson who will meet in our first semi-final here in Auckland on Sunday. Lewis and Taylor against Van Gerwen or Wade will be the second semi-final. And both impressive with whitewash wins in the first round. Taylor over Zabo and Lewis over another Kiwi, Stuart Leach. And both played extremely well. Yep, last year here in the semi-finals, it went all the way. And Adrian Lewis won it in a last leg shootout after Phil Taylor had missed match darts. And of course, the rest is history. Raymond van Barneveld missed match darts against Lewis in the final. And Adrian Lewis became the first winner of the Auckland Darts Masters. Taylor or Lewis? Take your pick. Looking forward to this. Should be a, a thrilling half an hour, 40 minutes on the big stage here at the Trust Arena. Four and a half thousand packed here. Gentlemen, first leg, Adrian the throat first. Every minute. Game of the hours, Kiwi style. Well, straight into a very good rhythm with those three from Lewis. Failed to hit a maximum last night. He's got to hit a few against this man. Down for the 57. Well, this is the route that Phil Taylor went last night when he missed a double 12 for a nine. Well, what about this for a start? 140, 177, 180. Nine spectacular darts. And it just gets better. It just gets better. <laughs> Incredible start to this game. No one has ever hit a nine dart leg at the start of a TV match. Can Phil Taylor do what he couldn't do last night? Oh, another treble. It looks sweet for another treble, Taylor. I can't believe Phil missed that. I cannot believe Phil missed that second treble. Uh, incredible. A possible ten darter here, but he may not even get a dart. What a leg! What a leg to win! Phil Taylor in seven perfect darts. He leaves 16 after nine and doesn't even get a dart and a double. Wow, unbelievable start to this match. What a response from Adrian Lewis. Well, we said, Stuart, that's what Adrian Lewis has got to do. He's got to find this A game that he possesses. And going on the first leg, certainly that's the A-plus game. I mean, to be hit with what Taylor hit him with and just go up there and hit the 57 and the double 12, well, that's great. But a better rhythm from... Adrian Lewis, that's what I've been asking, is what I've been saying on TV, especially the third dart. He's made it pay in that first leg. Well, I think it's fair to say that that is one of the best opening legs ever in the history of TV darts. I have to totally agree. I mean, I can't, re I can't remember any, any leg better than that. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Oh, here comes Taylor. The second one. This is shaping up to be something special. We saw them uh, produce a magnificent match at the World Match Play three years ago. We saw them produce an epic at the Grand Slam of Darts as well. With 180s and some brilliant scoring and finishing. Well, if Tyler doesn't have a treble on this visit, he's got to go back up to the 20s. Well, the 18s, well, that's opened up the door for Adrian Lewis for a break of throw. He's got to go for the 19s. Four 19s will leave him the bullseye. Another one of those will leave him double six. Now, the ball. Just, just underneath. Well, you, you would think Taylor has to get this. This is just a whole throw. He needs the treble. That flight's in the way, though. Oh, he's, he's hit it. Oh, he had to! He had to, and he did! What a start to this match! 122 on the ball! Unbelievable dart! Yes, and although the third dart just missed, the rhythm was a lot better. And that's what he's got to carry on. And he has this sort of rhythm. Adrian Lewis is a tough cookie to beat. 
100. 11 data from Lewis, 12 data from Taylor. Two for Phil Taylor. Lewis averaging 134, Taylor averaging 120. It's not bad! 96. Yeah, I think they practice a bit more. They, they might be decent players, these two. Well, a rare visit to the board from Adrian Lewis without a treble. However, Phil Taylor's a long way off, so even a 180 is not really going to put a lot of pressure on, although it will tend to put... As I said, that the third maximum of the match for Phil Taylor, which actually does put a bit of pressure on here. Treble 18 leaves the ball. Well, he mustn't miss the big number. Does that have to move right across? Yeah, that's a good setup. Well, we could see an exhibition shot here. Phil Taylor, 25. Treble 20 now for tops. Well, he's not going to finish it. So Lewis comes back to hold on to his throw to take a 2 1 lead. Double 16 for Jackpot. Breathtaking. Oh, can't afford to miss here. Brilliant start. Had to go high. That, believe you me, perfect precision. That was a tough, tough ask. Fantastic dart from Adrian Lewis. What a start to this game. Is this going to be four 180s in four legs? World match play, semi final 2013. Uh, the final, rather, uh, Taylor won 18-13. He won the Grand Slam oh, semi final oh, as well. It was 16 9, but they were both a lot closer than the scoreline suggests as Adrian Lewis responds. <laughs> seven, seven maximums in four legs. Do you know what, Steve? I was so surprised that Phil Taylor didn't go down to the 19s with that sixth dart. I mean, wow, well, he's missed the nine last night. He's now on a 10 data. He left a shot after nine in the very first leg and never went back to the board. Four, Seven one eighties. This is the fourth leg. Here's a 10 data from Phil Taylor. Well, the first lag of this quarter-final has, has set the scene, hasn't it? They are both playing at the very, very top of their game. The full house here in Auckland being treated to dart simply out of this world from both Taylor and Lewis. Well, the way these two players are playing, you quite expect the nine dart leg to come sooner or later. This is, this is the Lewis we've all been asking to turn up, isn't it? I mean, last night he was very indifferent, didn't hit any maximums, very edgy, wasting darts all over the place, but he's turned up this evening with a mindset to keep his rhythm, keep his height, and it's certainly working at the moment. Dazzling darts from two of the very best in the business in Adrian Lewis and Philip Taylor. Eight 180s. We're only in the fifth leg. Ten darters, eleven darters, twelve darters, bull finishes. Only oh, require 132. Oh, bull, bull, double 16. Unlucky. Unlucky, Adrian. 92. However, he's done the important thing, left a double. Comes back three clear darts at double top to take a 3-2 lead. Would be a nice 46. little 13 dart leg. Only require 40. First one on the top wire, second one in. Oh, the Enjoy first the one just play. straight in the Adrian middle. A very confident Adrian Lewis at the moment. Taking the, the game to Phil Taylor and oh, Phil Taylor's right back at him. Both averaging 115. This is some game. Nine 
27. But the first leg was unbelievable. Phil Taylor hitting seven perfect darts. And he didn't get a dart at a double. Needs a treble, Adrian. One on. Yep. This keeps the pressure on Taylor here. Well, that's another sign that Adi Lewis came in good form this evening. You know, that last dart. Well, wow. last night and previous matches, probably only two out of ten is finding the target tonight. It's actually reversed. It's eight out of the ten that's finding the target. One well, round forty. A fabulous sporting drama here at the Auckland Dance Masters. Fifty-eight. And the door is Adrian just ajar here for Adrian Lewis. Unlucky. He's looking at the treble nineteens. A treble here oh, would have given him a Building big advantage. The way that they've been finishing, you wouldn't rule this out. Well, you've got to fancy Adrian Lewis to have his third dart at a double stew. The way he's been hitting the treble One this hundred. evening, Adrian he's got to find the treble 20 or the treble 17. Now for the treble 17, double 16. Yes. Fantastic. A break of throw Seven. for Adrian Lewis. The way he's been playing, you knew the third dart had to be at a double. And now he's got a little bit of daylight. And now's the time to turn the screw. Well, they do have a habit of producing some epic games. 46. Can Lewis land a knockout blow here? Looking to make it three legs on the spin. One I can't emphasize enough. You know, that third dart this evening is absolutely perfect for Adrian Lewis. And that's the difference between him being in front here or being behind. No question One about that. 34. Well, don't ever anybody doubt their commitment. You know, people will say, yeah, but it's only a World Series event. This is much, much more for these players. They are playing at the very, very top of their game. Lewis looking to defend the title he won here last August. This isn't a holiday, this is work. Got a fancy of the third dart on double, which is going to be. One hundred. Oh, well, one hundred and nine. Both Taylor and Lewis averaging here. You wouldn't put this past Taylor, would you? To break straight back, needs a treble seventeen in the ball. So Lewis will return. Fifty-three. This for darting daylight. 20. Three consecutive legs for the defending Auckland champion. Well, that's the advantage of throwing first as well, Stu. Well, Lewis throwing first and breaking Taylor once. He's three legs clear. And now Taylor has got a battle on his hands, but that's the fifth maximum. He's hitting this match nine in all. And we're only starting the eighth leg. 48 in total. Looking for that magical 80 180s, I believe, which will be hit quite easily come tomorrow night. There he goes again. Got to go treble 19, yeah. surely. Couldn't believe it. You see the way those darts were sitting. It was obviously it was going to bounce off of them and bounce out. 60. Perhaps Adrian Lewis just having a little rest here. Taylor dominating this leg. 
But at the moment, Lewis dominating this quarter-final. 16. How good is this? They've had some fantastic battles down the years, haven't they? Well, they had a great game at the Grand Slam, didn't they? When Lewis other world match players we mentioned. Yeah. Well, Lewis hit 19 one eight against Taylor and that. Lost. Double eight for a 1-2-1. One, one. One hundred and five. Adrian Lewis already looking towards the next leg, you would feel. He only requires 16. Taylor here looking at double eight. Game shot in the eighth yeah, gets there in the end for Taylor. Just yeah. stops the rock. 5-3 it is. And last leg before the break. Vitally important. 89. Lucky last start. Can Taylor pound some punish and get that break of throwback? 100. You'll be disappointed with that. First dart, plumb in the treble 20. Failed to follow it up. But as you said, Stu, ultra important leg for well, Adrian Lewis. He's got to hold on his throw. Keep that three leg difference going into the break. Because sometimes when you're a player, when you're playing, you don't see the score so much. You know the score, but it doesn't affect you. But when you Nine walk off the stage seven. in a commercial break, you think, I'm 6 3 down. That's when it could affect you. A lovely switch. Lovely One switch again. Not years. as if you've noticed, his, his eyes didn't move. As he moved from the treble 20 to the treble 18. That's two visits where he's Nine been years. perfect on the cover Are shots. Two treble 19s, then two treble 18s. Needs one big treble. May look at the ball. 56. No, disappointing. Well, that just opens opens the door for Taylor, gives him a chance here. This yeah. is where Taylor, down the years, has been so good. One hundred. And he's got to take this out. Will he go the aggressive route straight at the treble 18 or the 25? He's just considering what way he's going to go. Yeah, he's considering the 54 or the bullseye. It looks like the bullseye. 19 leaves him the bullseye. Now double six. Outstanding and Lewis a quarter final. Taylor and Lewis both averaging 106, nine 180s in nine magical legs of darts. But it's the defending Auckland champ who has the advantage. What a match! Lewis six, Taylor three. Just confirming what a performance it was in beating Peter Wright 10-6. Anderson had only one winning leg over 14 darts. 100. That's well, why he's the world champion. And you're exactly, and a double world champion at that, and the Dubai, Dubai Masters champion. 97. Well, oh, Phil Taylor, he's come off the break. He's got to get serious, he's got to get focused. And that's not going to help him. He knows what Adrian Lewis can do when he's in this mood. And Phil Taylor, 105 average. He's possibly got to up that towards the 110 mark. Well, I'm right out, folks. Lewis turning the screw. Well, the thing about Phil Taylor's darts now, still they're starting to over-pitch, and that's the wrong dart for Phil. 57. He needs them under it, he's going to miss, and they're just starting to... Go above. One hundred. Interesting. I don't know whether there's a little bit of adrenaline, a little bit annoyed with himself, which has put a bit more aggression into the arm. But he certainly needs that's better dart. He needs to bring him down a quarter of an inch. Well, he needs he needs a 180 here. That's fantastic. <laughs> Great response from Taylor. If he goes another break of throw down here against Lewis, he's in big trouble. But how much pressure will Taylor be on? Oh, not as much as he should have been. Will we require 84? 84. 
to get back to within two. Double 11 for the 10th leg. Oh, and again on the outside, he's been putting a lot of darts at the double 16 on the outside. Got to go for the 19s. Oh, no, he can't finish, so Taylor will come back. That was another chance there for, for Adrian to really yeah, put, the last put some starts. He's made a mess of it from 164, Adrian. Well, that's a great dart, aggressive dart. Not the easiest double. Of course, if you come inside, you've got to split. What a match. Adrian Lewis will feel there that he let Taylor have that 10th leg. When I ran out 39. Well, all he's got to concentrate is holding his throat. And he, he just can't lose. And the way he's scoring, when I ran you might think that it's going to be very hard for Phil Taylor to break the throw of Adrian Lewis in this match. He tried to do it with a nine dart leg in the very first one and didn't do it. 97. As good as we've seen Lewis play for a little while, he had his moments in the Premier League uh, back in the UK and Europe from February to May, but 32. inconsistency dogged Adrian Lewis's Premier League campaign. But here he's on for another possible 11 dart leg. Taylor wasn't thinking there, look, he hasn't left to finish. And then after his first two darts at the 20, he had no choice but to leave the 165. So, maybe Lewis is going to come back with another three darts. And they go 25. Oh, he's come down with 57. So, double 10 for Lewis to hold the throw and to go three away from a semi final place. Oh, that's a good guy. Clip it onto the barrel. It's definitely in. Exactly what he's done. 14 dart leg. That's what he's got to do. Mustn't use any more than 15 darts on his throw. Force Taylor into a 12. Taylor has thrown everything. Absolutely everything. As he hits another 177 at Adrian Lewis. But Lewis has repelled every single attack that we've seen from the power. 177 from Taylor. 140 in response from Lewis. Everything in Taylor's darting armoury is chucked at well, Adrian Lewis. Well, he's done to Phil what Phil has done to everybody else for 20 years odd. And it's this leg on leg pressure that we talk about. High scoring, high finishing, both on 50% on the doubles. One forty, well, one that's okay. Thirty-seven. One three seven. Again, puts pressure on Taylor to take out this one oh one. Double sixteen. Sixty-nine. Again, he's slid those darts on the outside. So a chance here for Ady Lewis. Uh, treble 20 in the bullseye. No, he's not going to have a dart of the double, so Taylor will come back. 89. And sometimes the 32 stew has 32. cost Phil Taylor. He needs to find it with the first dart. Well, that's not a bad one. Bounce it off, and it's exactly what he's done. Gets it back to within two. Well, enjoying this. I'm sure you are too, wherever you're watching around the world. The worst start to a leg from Adrian Lewis on his throw in this match. And Taylor's pouncing! When we talk about why starts, I feel Taylor's wasting them. A lot of difference there. The five to the treble, 20. 85. Just one break of throw in this epic quarter-final. And that came in the sixth leg, courtesy of a 103 finish from Adrian Lewis. 
very important time in this game for Adrian Lewis. Doesn't want to have his throw broken. One hundred. Well, Phil Taylor has got to do it on two occasions to walk off this stage with a win. He's but one leg at a time. That's all Taylor's thinking. He's not thinking about the winning line yet. Well, I'm ready. Well, this is a super leg. 102 after nine. This is a brilliant response from Taylor. Lewis needs the lot. Needs the lot. Well, I'm right out. 25. Phil he didn't need that with the last dart, did he? That that could be a expensive error. We shall see. Taylor. He's double 16. This will be a fantastic 12 dart play. Classic Philip Taylor. That is Phil Taylor at his best. Game on. Lewis just opened the door a little bit with an indifferent first three darts. And Taylor pounced. We talked about those two brilliant games in the Grand Easy. Slam semi-final and the, and the match play final. Uh, indebted to Dave Allen, the PDC's media manager. We'll just see if uh, Adrian Lewis can respond with a brilliant 180. He can, his fifth. Match play final, Taylor won 18-13. With 111 average. Wow. Lewis hit 19 118s and lost. Grand Slam semi final. Taylor won 69 with 110 average. 14 180s. Wow. Lewis averaged 111 and hit 18 180s and lost. <laughs> and this is pretty good too. For Phil Taylor. I have to say, it's not many times you'll see Adrian Lewis outgunned on the 180, especially the way he's playing, but certainly Phil Taylor. It's more 180s now than he's ever done. To hold on to his throw, 106. Now he needs treble 18, we'll leave him double 16. Double 16. Oh, what an outside chance for Lewis to get the throw back. Brilliant match. One dart. Oh, it's right in the middle. How about that? Fantastic one, two, four from Adrian Lewis. Well, this is right up there. Possibly the best game that we've ever seen in the history of World Series darts. Well, I'm right out, folks. The question is, Stu, why can't we have Adrian Lewis like this all the time? Well, he does feel lucky on the stage. He's the reigning champion, had a bit of luck in the semi-finals against Phil Taylor last year and in the final. So he feels lucky. Well, I'm right out, 35. 107, the average from both players. One hundred. Nine times in the past, they've both averaged over 100 in... TV clashes. Phil Taylor's won eight of them. Edward well, Lewis Fulton. looking to stop the rock. Looking I at a possible 11 dark leg here, Adrian. Well. Uh, a, a big gamble. You don't always have a go at it because one of those days it's going to come back and haunt you. However, it isn't today for Adrian Lewis, so three clear darts at the level top. Got to finish the job. Yes, and to go one away from a semi final place. Game For the moment he stands up. What a performance. 9 6. Four legs left, and Taylor has got to win the lot. With that 14th leg, Lewis 12 data with the 180 and 124 on the ball. The tail isn't finished. 180 number eight for Philip Taylor. 81. Well, there's Sarah, Eddie Lewis's wife. You can smile at the moment, Sarah, or she's 
Could be feeling a bit edgy. Well, here's number four for Taylor. Adrian Lewis's mind is already on the next leg. Taking out 122 on the 90. ball, but no need to take any risks here. And Lewis way, way back. 100. So we require 32. To get back within two legs. Game show in the 16. One down, three to go. Hardest leg to win is the last one. 57. Only 57 from Adrian Lewis. The pressure's off for the power of that, there's no doubt. He will just go up there now and try and turn the screw and put the pressure on his opponent. It weren't enough, those two, after the first start being plumbing the treble 20. Lewis's first start beginning to dip below the treble 20. 57, 57. Yeah, Worrying. Just losing his room a little bit, tightening up. He can look, he can see the finishing line, but you've got to get over it. Oh, right up, now Rosie. Phil Taylor has the throw in this leg. He's got to find, that's a better dart. Keep the rhythm, keep his height. You keep the oh, height right of up, your body, Rosie. you keep the darts up. That's exactly what he's done there. An erring accuracy from wow. both Taylor and Lewis in this match. Well, that time, he's not thought as Phil Taylor. He's left a bogey. However, AD can't do anything about it. He was lucky. He's careless, I think. Six darts from here. Oh, what a great leg this has been from Taylor. He's making Adrian Lewis think. He's making Adrian Lewis blink. 92. Will we require 32? Game show in the 17th. Oh, we could be going to a deciding leg here, Stu. Lewis, 9 8 up against Phil Taylor, and with Taylor stepping up to the board. And this is where Lewis wants to finish it. He doesn't want to go to an edgy last leg. Back to back 13 darters from Taylor. Well, you have to say that's a bad score from Phil Taylor. So, Andy Lewis, 5 one eighties. Needs to find one here. Keep the rhythm. 100. <laughs> Not enough. Fabulous game, I suppose it deserves a fantastic finale of 10-8-9-1-8-2. An incredible, and the first smile of the whole match from Phil Taylor. You know he's in a position now to take this to a deciding leg, and a very nervy deciding leg it will be. Now he's got to switch to the 19s. 96. Last few legs, he's just lost his composure, hasn't he? Just lost the scoring power that he needed. Started thinking about the, the finishing line. Double eight. The take is still the same. Thirteen darter, thirteen darter, twelve darter. The well, semi-final here last year went to a deciding leg. An incredible game of darts. Fitting that it goes to the decider. 
Might have three darts to kick off a leg. Phil Taylor now knows he's got to find a 12 dart leg if he's to go through for the semi finals here in Auckland. And he's gone and not found one treble. So, maybe Lewis, you'll never get a better chance to win this match. Oh, what a great third dart. Well, incredible tension here in Auckland. Another absolute thriller between Taylor and Lewis. One on. 108.38 Phil Taylor's average. Adrian Lewis, 104. One on. Yeah, only a 180 could put Phil Taylor on a shutout. <laughs> I but, wonder. Yeah, Rady Lewis wasn't thinking. I think he was just thinking, just pound the treble 20, get down, take the double out. Doesn't matter what it is, give me a dart and a double. That's all Adi's thinking. Well, he's going to get down to the double first now. Perhaps he'll go 25. Give him two darts at a double. 95. Well, only, he may only get one dart at a double. The 25 would have guaranteed him two. However, unless Phil Tyler hits two trebles. And he's just checking the score. 77 scored. 168. So over to the 18th. Oh, well, six darts from 70. Only requires 70. Well, Phil Taylor has produced a magnificent display. He needs tops here, Adrian Lewis, 30. the defending champ. Here 167. 167. 167. Well, last year it was Taylor who missed match darts and Lewis won. Lewis has missed one match dart here. The defending Auckland champion has missed three match darts here. Yes! Yes! Wins! Absolutely! Thriller against Phil Taylor. What a match that was. Adrian Lewis, the defending champion here in Auckland, is through to the semi finals. He wants to keep hold of this trophy. What a night it's been here at the Trust Arena. Lewis holds off a Taylor fight back to win an epic 10 9. And still to come, Michael Van Gerwen against James Wade. Some have described this as the best ever match we've seen on this World Series. It was amazing. How did you rate it? Yeah, it was certainly up there. Um, Phil was knocking in 180s for fun, wasn't he? Every time I looked up, he seemed, he seemed you know, it, it seemed the treble after treble. And I was thinking, right, oh, come on now. Uh, and when he had the lead, I thought, right, oh, come on now. You know, fire in. And it just didn't happen. And he was firing, all, you know, on all cylinders. And I was like, oh, oh dear. And then when he got to nine, he was thinking, right, come on, you've got the throw, you've won the ball. Um, nail him last leg. Um, I sorted off brilliant, and then uh, I thought he was going to take out the 167 in the end. So, well, yeah, happy to get over the line with the last dart on double top again. One thing I'm not as a bottler. You know, <laughs> it's, if your mind's right, I'll play well. If, if it's not, and then that's what happens. And it is amazing because he um, averaged over 107. I think you were about 103. Yeah. He was, he was down to, I mean, Phil's average obviously was a lot to do with his lot of 180s he was hitting and his finishing. Um, Mine dropped because I, was, I started it instead of 180s and 140s. I was listening to many 85s and tons, you know, slap darts really. But uh, like I said, I have to get over the line. Well done, we loved it. Nice one, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.